Hello everybody. Today I am going to start a sequel on endocrine system and this is the part 1 video of that sequel. Uh, here we are going to discuss about the introduction about the endocrine system like what is endocrine system, what are the hormones, what are the body parts which are related with the endocrine systems and so on. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the notification of the daily uploaded new new videos. Don't forget to like and share my videos too. Let's start the tutorial. Endocrine system is related with hormones. So we are all familiar with this term hormone. The functions of the body is regulated by two major control system, nervous system and the endocrine system or hormonal system. So, uh, we came to know from this line that our whole body is totally regulated and all the functions of our body are totally regulated by two major systems. One is nervous system which contains neurons and all. And another one is endocrine system which is also known as hormonal system which actually contain the hormones. In general, the hormonal or endocrine system is concerned primarily with control of different metabolic functions of the body which is very important because without metabolism we do not expect getting energy from the food which we are consuming or other aspects of cellular metabolism like like growth and secretion. So, we know that uh, from the very childhood a uh, baby with the help of the growth ultimately forms into a, a total person. So, the growth is very important which is also controlled by the endocrine system. Now, we have to know what are hormones which we can call the unit of the endocrine system. So, a hormone is a chemical substance. Please uh, remember this. It is a chemical substance that is secreted into the body fluids by one cell or group of cells. Means there are different types of cells in the endocrine system. So, a single cell can release a hormone or a group of cells also can release the hormone which actually uh, do uh, control the physiological activities of our body. So, there are two types of hormones according to their activity. One is local hormone, another one is general hormone. Why the name comes like that? Local hormones means these hormones have specific local effects. That means where they are releasing, they are doing their effect only in that area. The examples are acetylcholine, secretin, cholecystokinin, etc. The general hormones are somehow different from the local hormones. These hormones are secreted by the endocrine glands and transported to the blood throughout the body. That means it is distributed all throughout the body by means of the blood. Examples are epinephrine, norepinephrine, renin, etc. We will uh, learn about these hormones in detail in the coming videos. So, it is an illustration of the major endocrine glands and this is the male portion and this is the female portion. It is written over there you can see. Now, something are common like pituitary gland, then thyroid gland, then thymus, then adrenal glands you can see on the kidney, then pancreas. But in the female case, there is ovarian hormones. In the male case, there is some hormones coming out from the testes. So, it is an overview in picture of the major endocrine glands of the body. Now, regarding the overview of the endocrine glands and their hormones, we can see that uh, most of the hormones are coming out from the anterior pituitary gland. Now, the first one is GH or the growth hormone. Actually, this growth hormone causes the growth of all the cells and the tissues of the body. 
and it is also known as somatotrophic hormone please remind it is also known as somatotrophic hormone now the second hormone is here adrenocorticotrophic hormone adrenocorticotrophic hormone or ACTH <clears throat> it causes the adrenal cortex to secrete the adrenocortical hormones so it is very important and it, it acts on the adrenal cortex the third one is thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH it causes the thyroid gland to secrete the thyroxine and the triiodothyronine so two hormones are secreted from the thyroid gland which are secreted with the help of this TSH one is thyroxine another one is triiodothyronine next one is follicle stimulating hormone or FSH it causes the growth of the follicles in the ovaries in case of the female prior to ovulation it also promotes the formation of the sperm in the testis so it's very important next one is luteinizing hormone it plays a very important role in co causing the ovulation okay it also causes secretion in the female sex hormones by the ovaries and the testosterone by the testis the last one that coming up from the anterior pituitary hormone is prolactin it promotes the development of the breast and secretion of milk so it is totally active in case of the female so these are the anterior pituitary hormones next comes the posterior pituitary hormones now the first one is antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin or ADH actually it causes the kidney to retain the water thus increasing the water content of the body so it maintains the water volume also in high concentrations it causes constriction of the blood vessels throughout the body and elevates the blood pressure so it's very important hormone of our body another one is oxytocin it contracts the uterus during the birthing process means it helps in the birth of a baby thus perhaps helping expel the baby also it contracts myoepithelial cells in the breast thereby expressing the milk from the breast when the baby suckles so it totally dedicated to the birth of the baby and to the nourishment of the baby next comes the hormones of the adrenal cortex glands there are two hormones one is cortisol another one is aldosterone now this cortisol has multiple metabolic functions for control of the metabolism of proteins carbohydrates and fats so it is totally dedicated to the metabolism now this aldosterone it reduces the sodium excretion by the kidney and increases the potassium excretion thus increasing the sodium in the body while decreasing the amount of potassium so this aldosterone actually play with the minerals and the two minerals are mainly there one is sodium another one is potassium next we are going to discuss about thyroid gland and parathyroid gland regarding the thyroid gland there are three hormones thyroxine triiodothyronine and calcitonin now thyroxine and triiodothyronine they increases the rate of chemical reactions in almost all the cells of the body thus increasing the general level of body metabolism so thyroxine and triiodothyronine are totally involved in the metabolism of the body regarding calcitonin it promotes the deposition of calcium in the bones and thereby decreases the calcium concentration in the extracellular fluid that means we know that the bones are totally made up of calcium which is deposited by the calcitonin next comes the parathyroid gland only one hormone coming out from that <clears throat> and this is parathormone it controls the calcium ion concentration in the extracellular fluid by controlling absorption of calcium from the gut excretion of calcium by the kidney and release of calcium from the bone so it's also important regarding the metabolism and the absorption and releasing out of the calcium ion
Again, there are three, th three parts of our body which are also act as an endocrine glands. Most important is pancreas. Pancreas islets of Langerhans, it secretes two most important hormones. One is insulin, another one is glucagon. Now, this insulin, it promotes the glucose entry into most cells of the body. In this way, it controls the rate of metabolism of most carbohydrates. Glucagon, it increases the release of glucose. That means it acts as a contradictory of insulin. It releases the glucose from the liver into the circulating body fluids. So, this is the functions of insulin and glucagon. Regarding the ovaries, we are going to get two hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen stimulates the development of female sex organs, the breast, the various secondary sexual characteristics of the female. Regarding progesterone, it stimulates secretion of uterine milk by the uterine endometrial glands and also help promote development of secretory apparatus of the breast. The last one is uh, in the reproductive system is testis. It releases testosterone. It stimulates the growth of the male sex organs and also promotes the development of the male secondary sex characteristics. So, this ovary and testis, these are reproductive organs and the hormones that are coming out from this, they actually help in the reproductive activity of the males and females. The last one is placenta. Placenta releases four most important hormones. HCG that is human chorionic gonadotrophin, then estrogen, then progesterone, then human somatomammotrophin. Now this human chorionic gonadotrophin, it promotes the growth of the corpus luteum and secretion of estrogen and progesterone by the corpus luteum. So it is related with the female. The estrogen, it promotes growth of the mother's sex organ and some of the tissues of the fetus. Now the progesterone, it probably promotes development of some of the fetal tissues and organs, helps promote development of the secretory apparatus of the mother's breast. That means prepares the mother to nourish the child after birth. Now human somatomammotrophin, it probably promotes the growth of some fetal tissue as well as aiding in the development of the mother's breast. So the placental hormones are basically dedicated to the development of the fetus and the development of the mother so that mother can nourish the child after birth. So long for this videos, uh, folks. So wait for the next video where we are going to discuss about uh, different uh, endocrine glands along with the hormones and their functions. So long. Enjoy the day.